Happy Sunday to us all. It's your brother, Alandria Denekon, welcoming you to the really, really knowing God channel and bringing you vital enrichment in the knowledge of God, all powered by the Pastor Alandria Denekon Center for Education, the PLACA. This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are sharing truth this morning on a better hope, coming from Hebrews chapter 7, 11 to the end. Let's pray together. Father, we bless your name, God. Give you all the praise, all the glory in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for all you do. And Lord, those same things you have done for us over these two years, we're asking, oh God, that you do here again this morning for the sake of your people. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. All right, let's do it from 11 now. Therefore, <clears throat> on the basis of what we have said before, if perfection were through the Levitical priesthood for under it the people received the law, what further need was there that another priest should arise according to the order of Melchizedek and not be called according to the order of Aaron? For the priesthood being change of necessity, there is also a change of the law. For he of whom these things are spoken belong to another tribe from which no man has officiated at the altar. For it is evident that our Lord arose from Judah, of which tribe Moses spoke nothing concerning priesthood. And it is yet far more evident in the likeness of Melchizedek. There arises another priest who has come, not according to the law of a fleshly commandment, but according to the power of an endless life. For he testifies. You are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. For on the one hand, there's an annulling of the former commandment because of his weakness and unprofitableness. For the law made nothing perfect. On the other hand, there has been bringing in of a better hope through which we draw near to God. And in as much as he was not made a priest without an oath, for they had become priests without an oath, but he with an oath by him who said to him, The Lord has sworn will not repent, you are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. By so much more, Jesus became the surety of a better covenant. And also there were many priests, as there were many priests, because they were presented by death from continuing, but, cause, but he, because he continues forever, has an unchangeable priesthood. Therefore, he is also able to save to the uttermost those who come to God through him. <clears throat> since he always lives to make intercession for them for such a high priest was fitting for us who is holy harmless only fire separate from sinners and has become higher than the heavens who does not need daily as those priests to offer sacrifices first for his own sins and then for the people for this he did once for all when he offered up himself for the law appoints as high priest men who have weaknesses but the word of oath which came after the lord appoints his son who has been perfected forever praise god <clears throat> okay um Let's see what we can do with this by the grace of God. So, um, he now said on the basis of all that you know, we, have, we have read above, if the Levitical priesthood was going to bring about perfection, perfection means they're here, means a situation where God totally accepts you. That, yeah, this is fine by God. That's what he's talking about. If that was possible through that Levitical priesthood, because the people received the law under it, why was there a need that there should be a priest again after the order of Melchizedek? In other words, God himself knew that what he did for them was a temporary arrangement. And I'm sure some of us have seen this kind of a thing before. Oh, a, a major event was coming and um, um, a temporary um, shunt of a street is made just for two weeks, three weeks, so that at the end of the sporting, big sporting event, that whole thing is no longer functional. Over times, something looks like a little bridge, you know, just quickly make the putting metals together to make things easy for people during that time because of the number of people coming. Okay, and afterwards, it has served its purpose, it's over. Now, something like that was what God arranged with the Old Testament. It was a temporary arrangement. And if, so what he's saying here, if that, if that Levitical priesthood was something that didn't have... Uh, a fault or that wasn't temporary why would he say that's going to be a priest for after the order of Melchizedek because there was need for um, rotations and changes because uh, things get discontinued either by age or retirement or death or weakness there was rotation that was uh, there was succession there was um, um, yeah rotation succession change you know always got necessary but this one is saying after the order just like 
uh, a temporary contraption, contraption, you will need to take it off again because there was no need for all of that again. That you know, there will be a change. But this one, when it says after the order of Melchizedek, that does not change. That continues forever. Now that one is a permanent structure. Praise the Lord. So that's what he's saying here. That if there was in, there was in need for a more permanent thing god will not say another priesthood is going to arise because you see uh he went on to say that our lord has nothing to do with with levi he was not a levite was not born in the lineage of levi let alone house of aaron hallelujah it was from judah and so the lord was raising another type of priesthood altogether Amen. And that is the one that um, serves us now, to which we belong. And Jesus is our own high priest that we have said, you know, in one place or the other. And so um, <clears throat> the, there was an annulling of the former one because of his weaknesses and unprofitableness. Okay, because the law made nothing perfect. On the other hand, there was the bringing in of a better hope through which we draw near to God. Can you remember now talking about this hope? You know, I told you that that hope refers to the new covenant. Look at it here, the bringing in of a better hope. If you go back to chapter 6, around 18, where it says uh, God willing to show more something, 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 you know, that we have a strong consolation, have fled to lay hold of the hope said before us. Now it's referring into it as a better hope. I told you then that it was referring to the new new covenant and I pray that God will grant us revelation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So he now goes on. <clears throat> Now, those priests were made without an oath, you know, in those days. But this one, the Lord has sworn and will not repent. He, he backs this word with an oath. That by two immutable, two unchangeable things, things, two things that cannot be corrupted, that cannot be altered. Hallelujah. He backed them up and, and, and swear, or swore and said that, look, you are going to be a priest forever in a continu continuous way, non-stop, no rotation, no um, um, succession, no change whatsoever. You remain Jesus and Lord forever and ever. Okay, all these things, they look a little bit um, academic and all that, but let's just go on. By so much more was Jesus <clears throat> made a surety of a better covenant again i like that you know you know shorties shorties are people that stand there for you to say that okay even if it looks as if this thing fails i'll hold me accountable so that's what he's talking about jesus here but so much more has become a surety of a better covenant honestly there's no feeling for this covenant and that is the beauty of the covenant to which we uh we are into you know praise god now there were many priests because they were presented i said it before by death from continuing but that he continues forever as an unchangeable priesthood therefore he's able to save to the uttermost those who come to god you know through him so uh because he ever lives to make intercession for them so i said that hope was referring to the new covenant so we're talking about a better hope we're talking about a better covenant and jesus was made the surety of that better hope otherwise called better covenant and what makes the covenant better is that this one there is no no change no succession no yeah discontinuation it is remains forever an unchangeable priesthood that is the reason is able to save to the uttermost i like that uttermost system pretty old um uh, english is saying that he's able to give us a thorough salvation complete salvation thorough salvation the reason because he always lives to make intercession for them now <clears throat> high priests change in those days now when the high priest change high priests let's say they have um um in human interest human tendencies are different okay the, the high priest was high priest over the entire nation let us just imagine a place like nigeria and uh, let's say that uh, we have a high priest um chosen to be the high priest for nigeria for the moment until he dies or is not able to function anymore and then the high priest prays for the nation now that high priest even though he knew or he knows the problems of the nation as far as he is concerned the um the way he rates the problem we have a problem of insecurity we have a problem of um, inflation and the economy we have a problem with our power we have a problem with um uh, ethnic misgivings and suspicions okay now the one that concerns that high priest most that is the one he will focus more when he makes intercession i hope you are following me um people are different for one high priest, it may be security that is most most important to him. For them, for another high priest, it may be this um, uh, lack of inclusive inclusive inclusiveness. Um, 
uh, what do you call that thing again? Uh, discrimination, you know, and, and and all those things. Maybe what is what matters more to the to the other one, uh, the other one may be the, the low moral standards in the children. You know, it will depend on which high priest comes at each point in time. Now, the difference now is that this present high priest is not changing, and so what matters to him remains what matters to him. Hallelujah. So there's no change of high priest. He remains there forever and he ever lives to make intercession. And so his intercession is consistent. His intercession is wholesome. It is comprehensive. And we don't have any fear that it will be changed and another one will come who may not particularly care about what matters to us. This one always cares about what matters to us and then he lives to make intercession accordingly in a consistent manner because there's uh, there's nothing like this continuation and change and, and succession and all those things. It remains like that. That is why that salvation that he has given us is thorough. Because he has after sale service. Are you listening to me this morning? Because it says that because he ever lived to make intercession for them, he provides after sale service that is very, very, I mean, very, very solid and very, very good. Praise the Lord. Uh, what do we call those things now? This after sales service. There's another name, support. Okay, after sales support. That's what we call it now. Praise God. You know, for that kind of high priest was fitting for us. That's what the Bible calls it. It says fitting. He's holy, he's harmless, he's undefiled, separate from sinners, has become higher than the heavens, does not need daily as those high priests to offer sacrifices first for their own sins, then because of the people, because he did it once for all, sorted everything. I like all that, honestly. Uh, and I want to challenge somebody to go back and read all those things and know you know and understand it because you see those high priests were people they were made like people because so that they could feel for the people and that's why jesus had to take on the nature of man you know and go through all these things for the law appoints a high priest for men who have weaknesses but the word of oath which came after the law appoints his son who's been perfected forever it's been a little bit long let's leave it there this morning and let's allow you to go on and enjoy your sunday i pray that as you go to church go with the kind of uh, spirit that expects not only to receive but also to give honestly that when you are in church you are not just receiving you are also in church to give you are not necessarily giving money to god or anything like that but as a way you can give to the brethren around you a word of encouragement a hug of love you know something just a little hand across somebody's shoulder and make a big difference this morning as you go to church the lord bless you in jesus mighty name amen and amen and amen